depending upon when you're viewing this video, you may have to go get the uh, Chromium version of Edge. If you do, there's a link in the upper right hand corner here and there will be one at the end of the video as well so you can find out how to install it. Okay, there's a couple ways to enable the dark theme in Edge. First, we're going to go up here and type in flags and you're going to get this list of all the different flags that are available. We're going to type in dark and you'll see there's a theme there. We're going to change this from default to enable and we'll click on OK. Now what's going to happen when you go down here at the bottom and you say install now is you have to restart. It restarted and sure enough we have a dark theme. But be aware this is only a dark theme of the settings and the outline of the application. It doesn't include everything. You can see here that the side menus and that all have been reverted to a, uh, a dark theme. Uh, but let's go to a website. Let's uh, change this out here. And this will go to uh, Microsoft site. We'll go to MSN. And you'll see that once we type that in and go to it, it's still in white. And every website you have will be showing its default themes. Besides that, even some of the other uh, menus inside of the deeper menus inside of the Edge browser, if you click on it like history, uh, you'll see that it has the white. There's no theme applied. So let's go out to the store. So if we go out to the uh, Chrome store, you'll find out there's a menu there. I'm going to click on a search here and it's going to say, oh, dark theme. And if we search for that, you'll see that we get a bunch of them. And they do different things. Some are just for Facebook, some for YouTube, some dark theme supposedly overall. Uh, one of the ones I read about uh, that we're going to try to take a look at is called Dark Reader. So we go back to the search functionality here at the Chrome Web Store. And we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to type in here Dark Reader and click on that. And you'll see we'll get some other ones as well. But here's the one called Dark Reader, and we can add to Chrome there. Uh, one thing to note, it says here is for every website. So let's take a look. Uh, we simply go here and say Add, Add Extension, look, and then we went to their website. So let's take a look at other websites uh, with this enabled. So after a moment, it refreshes, and even the back page here for the Chrome is black. But let's go to the MSN website, and sure enough, boom, it's in black. You notice how it refreshed a little slow, so it's a little worrisome about uh, how much it will affect your browser. Now you'll notice around the edges, the application itself, it's still white because I've turned off that earlier uh, setting. So if you want the full dark experience, you're going to have to turn on both the application dark theme and an extension like this that uh, makes websites turn dark as well. So here's what it looks like with both the external theme and the dark reader theme enabled. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.